G'day guys, Optimic Prime here. Very happy to bring you Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Bumblebee today. Really looking forward to this, mainly because he's got this awesome firing eagle shot bow. All the other little bumblebees I can't, I've got, they only come with the little clip-on blasters that clip onto his hands. This one's got the giant crossbow here, which looks really awesome to be honest. I am, I'm not sure if I am going to like the figure, to be honest, because he's got a lot of stuff on him. He's a very busy looking character. Uh, you can see in the picture of the characters down here, he's still the old one, the old standard one from the Prime series. So I'm not sure what they're doing here. Anyway, it looks cool. It looks awesome. But it also looks very busy and very almost cluttered up. All right. Let's rip him out of the box and see how we go. Okay, and here we are, out of the packet, looking freaking awesome. Like I did say, oh, I've missed something. Like I did say, the it's very cluttered up figure. There's a lot going on with it. And from a distance, there's just too much going on with it, in my opinion. One problem I've already noticed is sort of, hard to stand up. I think he's, the ball joints here and his uh, hips are very loose, a bit too loose. The only reason he's standing up now is because he's got the giant bow out the front, sort of counterbalancing the weight of the backpack and the weight of nothing at the front. So that's working at the moment. I just had a lot of trouble trying to get him to stand up. You've got to put the knees in a certain position. If that doesn't work, you've got to sort of bend the bend the hips one direction, one way, and then bend the knees another way, and it, it just falls over quite easily. As for the Bumblebee Prime that I have, he's a lot firmer, he's a lot stiffer. I don't know if it's the individual toys or if it's, you know, the design fault, a design fault, but either way, Prime one stands up a lot, a lot better, so I can do that. And there's no dramas. And uh, if I do that, you can see his legs are already spreading out. And now he's leaning forward. Okay. Let's get on to the new parts and the old parts. This is a direct remold of the Prime Edition one. So there's a lot of parts that are exactly the same, but a lot of parts that they've just ad added on or painted a different color. I'm going to take his crossbow off there and I'll take his two little guns off here, two little blasters, so I can show you the differences in the shoulder pads. If I stand these two side by side, shoulder pads are exactly the same, but these ones have giant spikes on them. Not much difference, but enough difference to create its own model, its own version in one. The headlights on the two units are completely different. Rear quarter panels, which are the feet, exactly the same, except these ones have giant spikes on them. So that's pretty much it. I mean, well, obviously the head's a complete remold. I'm not sure if I'm liking the Beast Hunter's head, just because it's got a, it's sort of got a Megatron feel to it. He sort of looks like he's got a Megatron head. I'm going to get in there a bit closer. And he actually looks really angry as well with those big red eyes just glaring straight at you. So, I mean, I like it. I like that they remolded the head. But, yeah, it looks too Megatron-y for me. Another difference is with the roof of the Transformer in the Prime one at folds down underneath so it sort of hides a lot of the backpack with the beast hunters it doesn't so it gives it this turtle backpack turtle shell thing looking one thing i have noticed is there's very minimal beast hunters rust is what i'm calling it it's where they've discolored the paint on purpose let's see i've got beast hunters wheel jack here just put I will be off to the side for a second. You can see on this part here is his hood, the hood of his car, uh, or the bonnet, 
depending on what country you're in. You can see the black all through it, the discoloration. There's not much. I don't think there's any else on the figure it's anywhere else. But it just adds that rustic battle imaged vibe to it. Here on bulkhead, there's not much except for on the door panels. The door panels have this flaring white swirl. The bonnet here has got some black on it. And this side hasn't got very much. It's got a little bit of a mark on top there. But other than that, you can actually you can actually see the markings. Where with Bumblebee, it's on the inside of the doors. And there's a, actually there's a slight bit on the roof that I only just noticed then. So you don't really see much of it, to be honest. Yeah, they, I wish they had a bit more. Maybe they could have put some down the legs there somewhere, maybe on the shoulder pads. The shoulder pads would look good. But other than that, it is a very cool looking figure, very awesome, very angry in a way, out to get you. It's, he's on a mission, he's on a mission of destruction. Should be out there with bulkhead. All right, articulation, head swivels, I guess the head's on a ball joint. Does go up and down, but it's got more left to right than it does up and down. Shoulder is on a pivot, will go all the way around. Shoulder is also on a swivel. Wait, did I get that wrong? I did. That's a swivel, that's a pivot. Yeah, anyway. This elbow joint will go all the way around, but I've noticed if you want to have his arm up here, it won't because it fouls out on the body armor up there. So if you want to turn his arm, you've got to put it down and turn it and then put it back up. It's also got a bit of a ratchet elbow up and down. Doesn't click as loud as you would have thought it would, but meh, it's there. And solid wrists, so no wrist movement. No waist swivel, uh, like I mentioned before. Very, very loose ball jointed thighs, uh, hips, sorry, with a swivel underneath it. Oh, and that's how loose they are. My one's just popped clean off. So yeah, maybe it is just my figure that's done it, but I hope it's not all of them because if it is, that's a bit of a design flaw that should have been picked up. Just, yeah, pop straight back on there, but it's not the point. Uh, yeah, swiveled right below that. We got a bendy knee and also got another bend down in the ankle, which is actually part of the transformation. Let's see, we go like that and like that. But that one's actually quite stiff. Let's try and get him into vehicle mode. All right, first thing you want to do, fold these down. Hold these down and spring load. Chum, 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 chum. Open the doors back up in the hood. Oh, sorry, bring the roof up, lock that in. Yeah, yeah, that's all staying together nicely. Bring the feet forward and up, lock them in. From here, I normally peg the feet together now because it makes it easier to bring it all up in one go and peg it into the back of the roof here. Lock that down there. That's good. Now, I'm going to straighten these side skirt. Sorry, I'm going to straighten these side skirts out so they point out, up, and lock them in. Yep. Once again, bring the side skirt out said up before but it's technically down and lock them in then just close the doors ratchet the missiles forward and there we have him in his awesome looking vehicle mode now in vehicle mode i am loving this basically i have a feeling i'm going to keep him in vehicle mode because he looks like a zombie apocalypse ready bumblebee uh, if you had if the zombie apocalypse was coming and you had a choice between that or that I'm pretty sure I would pick that now 
Loving this, loving the extra missiles on the side, mounted up on the side. You can pivot them, turn them. Comes with the exact same blasters as before. I'm just going to take everything off slowly so you can see it. I didn't actually talk about the crossbow too much. The crossbow is pretty awesome. And you poke that in there and then, ah, oh, had my finger on the back of it. Ooh, that's pretty cool. It's actually got quite some force behind it too. Uh, as I was saying about the rust look, the burnt weapon, the burnt paint job, there's a little bit of it on there. Just a little bit, tiny little bit up on the, that little spike and a bit of a splash across there, but that's it. As for comparison to the other Bumblebee, they are ridiculously the same at the same time as that this one has brand new pieces on it. The hood is completely different, this one being a smooth one, this one having the armor plating with the vents on the front. The lights are very similar but extremely different at the same time. The grill across the front, I'd call it the same grill, very similar. There's these spikes at the bottom here on Beast Hunter's Bumblebee. You can see them there, these little ones here I'm talking about, where these go, where this one only has spotlights on the bottom. Now, the back end of the vehicle, all brand new. Everything's brand new in this back half. The spikes are brand new. The spikes across the boot lid or the trunk lid, depending what country you're in. These flares coming up the side, the dual exhaust, all brand new compared to the kind of lazy prime. Other than that, I am loving this one in vehicle mode. Robot mode, I do like it. Uh, it is quite busy and I, like I showed you with the hips, it's quite hard to pose. So I probably won't, put, won't be putting him back in robot mode anytime soon. Uh, I just think he looks pretty awesome in vehicle mode. I put everything back together. Even without the missiles on him, that looks, that looks epic right there. So I'll probably, yeah, my choice is, I think I will have these two side by side in the collection. But this one in vehicle mode, this one in robot mode. Why? Just because. I don't like this one as much in robot mode. This one looks pretty awesome in robot mode. And vehicle mode, this one looks so much better than this one. All right. Thanks guys, you've been great. This is Optimic Prime signing out. Like, share, comment, subscribe, or just watch it and do nothing. It's your choice. Thanks guys, bye.